Stakeholders representing various government departments and non-governmental organizations participated in the review exercise, offering the input towards the important integrated health surveillance guidelines. Facilitating the exercise was retired medical practitioner and epidemiologist Dr. Mariona Bonnet. Dr. Michel Fossois, national epidemiologist, shares some further insight on the St. Lucia PAHO 4-day exercise. This visit was focused primarily on um, roles and responsibilities of everybody within the national surveillance um, system of St. Lucia. And so we hope in subsequent visits that we continue to build on this document till we have um, guidelines um, which would strengthen our surveillance system nationally as well as um, produce that level of data quality that we seek to inform policies and um, decision making. Thursday's stakeholders session involved a review of data collection methods and reporting mechanisms among other areas. The aim is to have it as an interactive document, and so it may be a lengthy process, sorry, but um, we are hoping and we are pushing ahead because um, St. Lucia is but a pilot project um, right now, and um, the hope is that it can be replicated. I'm just looking forward to the final documents and to improving our surveillance system all around. PAHO's country program specialist for St. Lucia, Mr. Reynold Hewitt, says PAHO is pleased to be supporting the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs in the review and development of the National Integrated Health Surveillance Guidelines. We are playing a pivotal role in ensuring that the system here in St. Lucia is strengthened so that they can monitor all events in the country. When I say events, I mean whether man-made or natural, be it hurricanes and the, the consequences of a hurricane in the country. So we want to make sure that the surveillance unit has the prerequisite tools in order to monitor these events when they occur in country. As you would agree that data is very important for management and for decision making. So we want to ensure that the, the health surveillance system has the relevant platform where they can, can collect data, collect it accurately, store it, and produce it in a manner where it can help the policymakers to make the relevant decisions that they need to make in country and for allocation of resources to respond to the needs of the population. Another PAHO visit is carded for March 2023, during which other pillars of the National Integrated Health Surveillance Guidelines will be reviewed. PAHO is hoping that the final document will be completed at a sufficiently high standard that it can be used as a template in other countries. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.